The Cabinet cleared an ordinance to undo the Supreme Court's order disqualifying MPs and MLAs upon conviction for any offence that invites a sentence of two or more years. The government had moved for an amendment in Parliament in the monsoon session but did not get opposition support at the last minute. Defending the ordinance, the Congress called it necessary. You know, these are things which should have been should be cleared as early as possible, because you know these are things will get get confused, you know, and uh, especially Congress party do not uh, encourage the criminalisation of politics or people criminals coming to politics. So this is not something which to protect such people or uh, uh, supporting such things. However, the left parties have questioned the need for an ordinance. Whole issue will have to be seen in a comprehensive manner and in totality that government is not uh, uh, doing. This is an ad hoc, uh, desperate move on the part of government. Why government should uh, go for an ordinance? While there was near political consensus in an all-party meeting before the monsoon session of parliament over the need for an amendment, during the parliamentary session differences surfaced over the amendment. The Supreme Court had in its landmark order on the 10th of July struck down a provision in the Representation of People's Act that protects convicted MPs and MLAs from disqualification if they appeal to a higher court. Section 8, Part 4 of the Representation of People's Act 1951 lets convicted members of parliament and state legislators continue their terms so long as they have filed an appeal within 90 days from the date of conviction. Earlier this month, the top court had rejected the government's plea to review its order, saying there was no error in the ruling. The Supreme Court, in its order, had also barred jailed lawmakers from contesting elections, but had accepted a government review petition challenging that decision. According to a study done by the National Election Watch and Association of Democratic Reforms, 1,448 out of the 4,835 MPs and MLAs are facing criminal cases. 162 MPs have criminal cases pending against them, with 76 MPs facing serious criminal charges. The cabinet decision comes days ahead of the judgment in the fodder scam against RJD chief Lalu Yadav on 30th September. Congress's Rajya Sabha member, Rashid Masood was also facing disqualification after being convicted in a corruption case on Friday. Ravid Himan and Shailendra Mishra's report for DD News.